Millions of years ago, long before there were any people, there were dinosaurs, a word meaning terrible lizard. Now that's misleading because dinosaurs are not lizards. That's the kind of trivia you'll learn and more at a new exhibition here at TELUS World of Science Edmonton. Our exhibition hall is full of life-sized animatronic dinosaurs and life-sized skeleton casts. We have fossils, we have a fossil dig. We will immerse you in the world of dinosaurs. There are some familiar faces, T-Rex, Stegosaurus, but some other dinosaurs you will not have seen before, especially the ones that have come from the magnificent fossil fields in China that uh, are writing a whole new chapter about dinosaur paleontology. Where do you get the names of these dinosaurs? Well, if you're a paleontologist and you discover a dinosaur, a new dinosaur species, mm -hmm. you have the honor of naming it. And you might name it after a person or a place like Shantungosaurus, which is out front in the Science Center, or it might be named after its body style or body, some body parts, or, or the way it carries itself, like the King Tyrant Lizard, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, in my vocabulary, that comes out as T-Rex. Is yeah. that okay? That's T-Rex is just fine, and we've right. got one here. Can I go see it? Yes, you can. All right, let's go take a look. This is the big guy, the T-Rex. This is our Tyrannosaurus, my Tyrannosaurus Rex, that lived right here in Alberta. Incredibly powerful creature, and uh, definitely built to be an apex pre uh, predator. The incredible strength of that jaw, it was about three times uh, more powerful than a lion. You also notice the skull of the, uh, of the T-Rex as well. They have a very large brain, and a big part of that brain went to the sense of smell. So, it may not have seen you, but it definitely could smell you. Did yeah. they have any enemies? Maybe they <laughs> didn't like the T-Rex? <laughs> Probably other T-Rexes, <laughs> other Tyrannosaurus, yeah, sure. And how would you think that would go down? Uh, I think it would be an awesome fight. Fun. What are we doing? Absolutely, we are out in the field. We are junior paleontologists seeing if we can find some bones out here. So, and we think here in Alberta of the Badlands um, as being a really great place to find fossils. It's really dry there. There's very little vegetation, so you can see a lot of erosion and that exposes a lot of fossils, makes them a little easier to spot. Before we go, I have to ask you about some dinosaur myths. So, there's a lot of them out there. T-Rex, couldn't see you if you didn't move? Not so much. He uh, had pretty sharp eyesight probably, like a lot of his modern ancestors. Number two, Dilophosaurus in the movies, spits poison, has a really big neck frill, not, not so, much. so much, we don't see that. Myth, myth three, Velociraptor was super big and fierce, had a mean sickle claw that he would disembowel people with, also not true. Probably the size of a big dog. You actually get to make a fossil. Absolutely. Uh, Sam here has poured some plaster for us. She can pop that out. So we make fossils to, to study, to uh, put on display. They can be, the originals can be pretty fragile, so these are important. And on certain weeks, visitors can come on down and make their own fossil to take home with them. So big kids and little kids? Absolutely, why like not? Like me right now? You go ahead. All right, I'm gonna get my hands dirty.